This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. This video looks at the VLOOKUP function, one that I can't live without. I use it nearly every day to combine data from multiple sources into one place. So we're going to take a look at this formula, including what it's used for, break down the four parts of the VLOOKUP so you can write your own, and we'll be using it as an example and also providing a link to the sample data at the bottom of this video so that you can practice on your own. Let's get started. The example that I'll be using is a spreadsheet that contains two tabs. The first tab I'm going to call my source spreadsheet. This is the main spreadsheet that I want to work in. This is where I want all the data to come into. So currently I have these three columns including student ID number and the student's name information. But I'm really wanting to find their grade and their parent contact email, which I happen to have. I just don't have it in this exact arrangement. And so I have a lookup range, which is another tab that I've pulled in, came right out of my student information system. And this includes the student ID numbers, as well as the student's grade and the contact email. It has some other fields as well. I can use the student ID number, which is in uh, both of the spreadsheets to pull data from the lookup range area into my source spreadsheet. So let's take a look at how this happens. So as we saw in the slide, I have a tab with my source data and my lookup range, and I want to combine these two. So to do this, I'm going to be in the source spreadsheet, the one that I want all the data to be living in. And I'm going to click in this uh, tab, the uh, cell that has the grade, and I'm going to start to type in the formula so that I can generate this information by pulling it from the other spreadsheet. So to start the formula, I always use an equal sign, and I'm going to type in the VLOOKUP, and then open the parentheses. I'm going to scroll this a little bit, and I'm going to zoom this so you can see this even better um, as I type this formula in. The formula contains four parts. I'm going to show that in a slide um, and also walk you through that. This is the same formula used in spreadsheets, uh, both for Excel and Google Sheets. It basically breaks down the same way. There are four parts. The first part is that in common value. For me, it's the column and cell that contains the student ID. That's the piece that's in common between both the source spreadsheet, where I'll be working, and the lookup range where I'm going to find that extra data I need. The second part is the actual address for where all of that lookup range exists. The extra data that I need, um, this is the range information here. The third piece is what's called the column index, and that is where I tell it exactly which column I'm calling the data for. I'll walk you through this when we show you the actual example. It's more clear there. And the fourth thing is always going to be, for me, I always use the word false here. This fourth piece of the formula is optional, but using the word false ensures that you only return an exact match, not something close to the student ID number, but the exact match. So in my um, use of this, I've never done anything but use false here. So let's take a look at how to do this in our sample data. So for this first piece, after VLOOKUP and opening the parentheses, I'm going to be looking at A2. So I can just click in the cell or type it out because I want this student ID number to be what I'm looking for in the lookup range. Then I use a comma to tell it that I am ready for my next argument, which is the lookup range. So I'm going to go over to my second spreadsheet and I'm going to highlight the whole thing because I want to look at this whole spreadsheet for that student ID number. It's important that the student ID number or whatever is being used as the search key is in the far left column in both spreadsheets that you're working in. So it is here um, on the far left and it's also on the far left on my source spreadsheet. So I'm going to do another comma, click back into my spreadsheet so you can see this happening. This is where I do the number of the column that I want to return. So coming back into where I'm looking, the first column is always going to be the one that contains the search key. So in this case, the student ID represents column one. Column two has the name, but I don't need that. 
I actually want the column three information, that's the grade. So I'm gonna put a number three here to represent that third column to the right. Now I do another comma and I type in the word false to ensure that I only get an exact match. And when I hit enter, it's going to show me the grade for that student. It doesn't matter whether it's at the top or in the middle or anywhere in the range. Now, I want to be able to drag this down or copy and paste it in the whole column. And in order to do that, it's important to lock the cells of the range here. Because if I don't, and I just start dragging this, what you'll notice is, see how it starts counting up, right, these numbers? And I don't want it to do that. I only want it to count up this column here, this um, search key. So I want to lock this middle area. So if I just click my mouse in the middle here where it has that uh, lookup range, then I can press an F4 key or I can manually type a dollar sign at the beginning and at the end of the range to, to show that I want to look in the first cell and all the way to 1001 or however big your range is. Now if I hit enter and I drag, it's not going to be counting up, it's only counting up this value, which is what it should be doing. Um, and the other shortcut that you may want to know about when working with a large data set is you can hit copy. Instead of just dragging this formula, I can scroll all the way to the bottom, and then I can hold the shift key before I press the last cell. And because I held the shift key down, it highlights the whole thing, and now I can control V or paste and it pastes the formula down the whole entire thing. And that is an example of using the VLOOKUP formula. Thanks for watching. Check us out online at teachingforward.net.